precious brothers and sisters all over the earth by God's grace we are coming once again in your midst to share the precious word of God we are grateful unto the Lord for all comments a reply and encouragement from brethren may God richly bless you as we keep on saying we are just vessels that the Lord is using because we know very soon the return of our Lord Jesus Christ is going to be a reality because with our God everything is reality salvation is reality redemption is reality is going up to heaven is reality the empty tomb is reality May God richly bless you. Before we start, we are going to pray. Our Heavenly Father, under that precious blood which was shed on the cross of Calvary, this day we come once again in thy presence, believing and trusting that, Father, you are going to vindicate the ministry that you are using. Oh, Heavenly Father, not unto us, not unto us, give praise and glory to that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, come and show thyself unto the world. Many are still in darkness, but we know on the cross of Calvary, you said it is finished. Oh, Heavenly Father, come, come, destroy this man who is standing now and take over. You know the desire of each one of us wherever we are. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. Brethren, we are going to sing a song. Remembering what our Lord did at the cross. Alas, indeed, my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die. Holy devote that sacred such a worm as I had the cross, had the cross, had the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there, it was there by faith, I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I have done? He grown upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown and love. At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, 
And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was day, it was day by fear. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. When my son in darkness hides and shut his glory in, when Christ the mighty maker died for men, the creature sin, had the cross, had the cross, had the cross. Where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was day, it was day by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can yet repay the day. Of love, I owe. Ye Lord, I give myself away. Is all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was day, it was day by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was day, it was day by faith. I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. My precious brothers and sisters, as we were singing at the cross, yes, each one of us must have a day when God himself can reveal unto you and when you see it i can i can tell you my precious brother and sister when you see what our god did on the cross you can't remain the same person he died for you he died for me without sin he accepted to become a sinner. He accepted to pay the debt. We don't owe the devil anything. On the cross he said it is finished. When he says finished, the debt was paid. My precious brothers and sisters, you don't, you don't owe the devil anything. You shouldn't remain a prisoner of Lucifer. No. By God's grace today, we are going to read a certain number of scriptures. Brothers and sisters, we must, we must receive the word of God and have part in what God is doing. Any parent should be very pleased to see his children be part of what he's doing. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 2, listen what is happening. This was a reality. 
Luke chapter 2, from verse 46, I will read. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. By God's grace, in one of our trips in Israel, we were in that temple. The Israelites have kept it. It is still there. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Listen to the answer of our Lord Jesus Christ. He corrected Mary and said, and he said unto them, Who is it that, no, how is it that ye sought me? With not that I must be about my father's business. The Lord Jesus Christ was busy in the father's business. If truly the creator, the maker of men, is your heavenly father, you should also be busy in the father's business. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ is the firstborn. He showed us the right example. In whom business are you today? Listen, my precious brothers and sisters. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 11. Oh, I like that scripture. Listen to a serious statement from our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 11 verse 23 he that is not with me is against me and he that gathereth not with me scattereth my precious brothers and sisters we have two kingdoms one is the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the other one is the kingdom of Satan. You can't be between the two kingdoms. No. There are only two spirits. One is the spirit of God. Of course, the Holy Spirit. And the other one is the spirit of Satan. Who is leading you? Are you sure from everything that you are doing on a daily, on a daily basis that you are with Jesus Christ? But today, the scriptures tell us that if you are not with Jesus Christ, you are his enemy. The decision is yours. He keeps on saying in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, come unto me. Listen. 
Listen, my precious brothers and sisters. You know why I always call you precious brothers and sisters? Because we were redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. That's why we are precious. When we continue, oh yes, I must read the same Luke chapter 11. Yes, verse 27. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. 28. But he said, Yeah, yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. We must hear the word of God as I always like to read in John chapter 15 verse 3. By receiving the word of God, we have shower from heaven. It's like we are taking a bath in the blessings. And when you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, you, when you start from verse 1, you will see the Bible says, when you keep the word of God, the blessings of God shall be with you and overtake you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we were called to be blessed, not to be cursed. If you are cursed, it's because you decided to be cursed. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, he said, Let us make men in our own image. Amen. We are the image of God. Amen. Listen, my precious <laughs> brothers and sisters. Blessed are they that hear the word of God. Not any interpretation from Bible colleges, no. No any doctrines that came from people's minds, no. To hear the word of God and to keep it. To keep the word of God. Because in the word of God, there is the power of God. Amen. You will read it in Roman chapter 1. You can read it. Listen, my precious brothers and sisters. The Bible is very clear. I will read again the very same book. Oh my. The very same book of Luke. Yes, today. Yes, Luke. Yes, I'll read Luke again. By the way, Luke, our precious brother Luke was a physician. And by God's grace, we are also physicians. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Listen what is happening here. I like it. Why we must be with God? Because Luke chapter 1, verse 37, the Bible says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Listen, brothers, listen, sisters. Out of the two spirits, one, the spirit of Lucifer or Satan, 
He is trying to do everything to twist whatsoever God is doing. When the Bible, when God says, don't eat, the spirit of Satan comes and say, eat. When God says, a woman should not be a preacher, the spirit of Satan comes and say, woman, you are equal to men, you also can preach. Listen, brothers, brothers, precious brothers and sisters. The Jesus Christ that we are bringing unto you, with him, nothing is impossible. But you can experience it if truly you come to him with a sincere heart. He has never chased anyone. Actually, he's knocking at your door. He wants to, to have a supper with you. My brothers and sisters, I beg you. The same Luke chapter 1, verse 45. The Bible says, oh, I like it. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Amen. By believing the things that the Lord has promised unto us, for sure you will be part of fulfillment. The things of God are very easy. But human beings try to make it just difficult. Do you know why? Because they don't believe it. They don't believe them. The Bible says in the book of Job, I'm going to read it to you. No, before I read Job, I would like to read Luke chapter 8. Yes, Luke chapter 8. Oh, yes. Luke chapter 8, verse 21. The Bible says, And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which Hear the word of God and do it. Amen. Job chapter 42. Job chapter 42. I always ask this question. Is it so is it difficult to do the word of God? I don't think so. Job chapter 42, listen what the Bible says from verse 1. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou can do everything. And that no thought can be withholden from thee. This is the one that I'm begging you, precious brothers and sisters, to accept, to believe, and to receive my Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, Chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 3. A scripture known to everyone. But we are here just to give and repeat what is written. 
I can't bring my own thoughts. I must bring what is written, 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 written. Because if I give you something which is not written, I will be in trouble with my Lord. I rather give everything unto you. It's up to you to accept or to reject. Simple. Matthew chapter 24, the Bible says, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, you know, brethren, when you sit there upon the Mount of Olives, you will see the entire Jerusalem in front of you. A nice view. And then the Lord was sitting there with his disciples who were admiring the temple. But listen. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world three questions but when we look at everything that are taking place today brothers and sisters we are witnesses of the things that the Lord Jesus Christ mentioned in Matthew chapter 24. The signs in heaven, everything, you know, bushfires. Now we are experiencing COVID-19 and there are many other things that are coming. But when we see all these things, please, precious brothers and sisters, I beg you. The Bible says, by the way, there is a, a meeting that took place recently between China, Russia, and North Korea. Those three countries, when you read according to the scriptures, those three countries have got something to be done here on earth. And the last prophet, Brother Branham, that we always mention, the Lord God showed him in a vision. Those three countries will do a lot of things here on earth. They met recently. And unto us, who are already won, we know our departure is imminent. But brothers and sisters, for any trip, you need a preparation. You can't just jump and take an aeroplane. You have to pay your ticket. You have to book. You have to make your own luggage. And psychologically, you know that I'm traveling. It's need a preparation. Spiritually, it is the same. The bride of Jesus Christ is about to be taken alive in the air, as it is written in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter four, from verse thirteen to eighteen. As it is written in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 51, 52, 53, in a twinkling of an eye, 
to be changed and to be taken alive. This body, this flesh, this blood will be trans which will be changed in a twinkling of an eye. The same way our Lord Jesus Christ went up. People saw him going. The same way he went, he went up with a, a immortal body. We also, we shall have immortal bodies and be taken up. It's not a dream. It is written in the Bible. And that will take soon, very soon. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 21. Oh yes, today is Luke, 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 Luke. Luke chapter 21. The Bible says verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. We are witnesses of the things that are taking place here on earth. This earth, very soon, it will be destroyed. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, yes, let me find the scripture. Isaiah, <coughs> oh my God, oh my God. Isaiah chapter 30. I'm reading unto you what is written in the Bible. I'm not here to scare anyone, but uh, I would like to let you know because most of the things that we are preaching, many pastors don't preach them because they don't believe them. I'm repeating. We have a message from God using faithful men of God to bring the message of God to his own children. My Lord Jesus Christ said, my sheep hear my voice and will follow it. If you are of Jesus Christ, Something within you will convince you and tell you that what this man is saying is the truth from above. And you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 30, listen what the Bible says, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. Think about it. The moon, you know, when the light comes from the moon, you know, it, it can't make you, you know, you, you, you can't feel any pain because, you know, it's just there, you know. But now the Bible says, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. So you take the temperature of the day. There, there are places here on earth where the temperature can take 40 degrees Celsius. You make it times seven. Just imagine the light from the sun 
to be 280 degrees. We shall survive. But because it is written, this scripture will be a reality very soon. Listen, in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound, brothers and sisters, this scripture is also confirmed. Malachi repeat the same scripture in the book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. The Bible says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stumbled. And the day that come shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that he shall leave them neither root nor branch. That scripture will be a reality very soon. When? I don't know. The Lord knows. And do you know why? The Bible says again the book of Isaiah. I'm going to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 24, yes, listen, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 19, the Bible says, Isaiah 24, verse 19, <clears throat> the earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clearly dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. Listen. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. Amen. The transgression upon the earth. Too heavy. And making the earth like someone who is drunk. Now my precious brothers and sisters. When we are sharing the word in this fashion, we are not preaching about prosperity. I know many churches are preaching prosperity, whatsoever, whatsoever, but we are preaching so that each one of us should be ready because our departure is very very soon when we read in the book of matthew chapter 25 <clears throat> listen what the bible says from verse 31 today is your day to make a decision the right one which one is the right to be with Jesus Christ, not to be against Jesus Christ. Matthew 25, verse 31, the Bible says, listen carefully, my precious brothers and sisters. <clears throat> when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Hallelujah. 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. 
Remember I said some few minutes ago, the sheep of God, of Jesus, will hear his voice and will follow him. A God, huh? I can promise you, a God is the most terrible animal. To pull a goat, it's not easy. But a sheep will follow without questioning. Now, it will come a time when the Lord Jesus Christ shall separate the sheep from the goat. Amen. 33. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on the left. You have to choose. Do you want to be a sheep or a goat? 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, hallelujah, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Oh my God. I can imagine the sheep of Jesus Christ rejoicing. When they are inheriting the kingdom. Now, because of time, I will jump, I will jump. And listen, I will jump and go to verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Prepared for the devil and his angels. Mm -hmm. Two groups. Listen, precious brothers and sisters. I usually mention it several times. Hell was not prepared for human being. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. But... Some human beings will follow the devil and these angels because they have been against my Lord Jesus Christ. To be against the Lord Jesus Christ is to be against the word of God. They bring the Bible, the word of God unto you. You said no. My pastor's never said so. But if your pastor is among those that Jesus Christ my Lord is calling race of serpents, as he's describing in Matthew chapter 23, read your scripture properly. In Matthew chapter 23, my Lord Jesus Christ is calling the false preachers is calling them hypocrites. You know, read it properly. Don't think that everyone that is reading the Bible is of God. No. My precious brothers and sisters, as I'm saying, two groups. In which one of them you would like to belong? Two groups. You know, when I'm talking about the false ones, it's not me to read them in the Bible. Eh? I will read for you. I, I, I just open it here in Luke chapter 19. Yes. <clears throat> Luke chapter 19, the Bible says, verse 46, it's the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. Because of time, I, I, you could read, you know, I could read for you the whole uh, chapter, but just verse 46. I was also in that temple. I visited it with, you know, many brethren. Verse 46. 
saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Today, we have many preachers who have made the house which should have been a house of prayer becoming a house of thieves. Not to me, I'm reading from the Bible. Churches, denominations have become like companies of pastors. Bishops and some of them are billionaire, but leading people to hell. My Lord Jesus Christ said, A blind leader leading other blinds, all of them will fall in a ditch. I'm reading from the Bible. My precious brothers and sisters, today is your day. Make the right decision. Who is walking with you? My Lord Jesus Christ said, I will I'll repeat it again. If you are not with him, you are against him. Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. Oh, it's a wonderful scripture. <clears throat> you know, as I'm talking to you about the two spirits, we have also two groups of preachers. Galatians chapter 1. I'll read from verse 6. I marvel that he has so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Here the Bible is talking about another gospel. Who brings the gospel? Preachers. But here Paul is saying, I marvel that he has so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, verse 7, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. As I mentioned earlier, the devil is there to pervert what God is saying. He told Adam, he instructed Adam and Eve, he commanded them, don't eat. The devil comes and says, eat. The Bible says, women, be submissive unto your own husband. The devil comes and says, no. Equal rights. The Bible says, Husband, love your wives. Today, it becomes even difficult to say wives. Eh? They are now using a term partner. I don't know. You, you call your wife partner. You call your husband partner. Shame unto you. Partner. Can you show me in the Bible where it is written husband should be called partner. Wife should call partner. Those vocabularies are not found in the word of God. The devil is there to twist everything, to pervert, and it is brought in by preachers. 
to prevent. Verse 8. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, than that we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Many preachers are under curse. You see a woman preaching. She's already accursed. And who? You who are receiving those kind of sermons coming from a woman, you are also cursed. It's not me. I'm reading from the Bible. Can God give to a woman a gift of, of, of preaching whilst he says he's forbidding them to preach? No. Let us not play games. Here we are dealing with the matters of God. And the matters of God are connected to eternity. Don't play games in the matters of God. You can play games in politics, in other stuff, yes, but not in the matters of God. Verse 9, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, that ye have received, let him be accursed. Preachers. Verse 10. For do I now persuade men, O God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I, hallelujah, for if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men. Hallelujah. My precious brothers and sisters, time is really flying. It's like uh, I'm just starting what I was supposed to share today, but to the Lord willing, we shall continue. Time is no more. Brothers and sisters, I always remember what one of our brothers was preaching. He could say, men as two main decisions to make. If a man chooses a good wife here on earth, Or a woman accepted to be married by a good husband here on earth, they will live a nice, peaceful time here on earth. You make a wrong choice when you are choosing your husband or wife. Your marriage will be misery after misery misery upon misery the second choice that every creature i mean human being should make is about eternity you make a wrong choice you are against jesus christ and hell for you. You make the right decision. The kingdom which was prepared from the foundation of the world is yours. The choice is yours. May God richly bless you. I'm gonna pray. Our Heavenly Father, Yes, I'm having scriptures that I wanted to share with uh, my brethren, but uh, 
I read those that you allowed me to read. <coughs> Heavenly Father, those are not my scriptures. These are your scriptures because you wanted them to be heard by thy sheep. Not unto us, not unto us, Father. Receive all them that are making the right decision now to follow you, to be with you, because with you everything is possible. Nothing is impossible unto you. Nothing is hidden from thee. Oh, Heavenly Father, we have brethren, parents, brothers and sisters who are sick spiritually. Heal them. Some are also sick physically. You are still the greatest physician. Father, heal them. As we can see, the time flying. Heavenly Father, please don't forsake us. You promised you will be with us as it is written in the book of Matthew chapter 28. That you will be with us until the end of the world. Father, we need you more than before. As it is written in John chapter 15, verse 5, without me, you can do nothing. Father, we need you. We need you in this race. We need you because without you, we are nothing. Heavenly Father, come, be the after speaker. I know, Father, you have already granted unto me whatsoever that I have prayed for my brethren, my brothers and sisters, and unto ourselves. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. I will sing a chorus. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening.